Good evening. Welcome to World Cinema Reviews. This is Frank the Band, and tonight I'm going to talk about a film that has little recognition. I, I didn't think the critics liked this film very much when it came out, and I also don't think that it got the uh, attention that it deserved on the box office as well. So it wasn't a hit as, at all. And I think it's like a super cool vampire film, but I just don't know why it never got the recognition that it should it really, really have. I'm talking about Innocent Blood, okay? Directed by the great John Landis, and uh, it's, it's starring the uh, beautiful uh, Anne Parilleud from France. You know, she's this wonderful French actress, so sexy. Uh, you may remember her from La Femme Nikita, and we have the the great the great actor Robert Loggia playing playing the uh, playing a mobster, and uh, we also have the very funny and creepy Don Rickles, and also we have Ant Anthony Lapaglia playing the undercover cop. Uh, Joseph Gennaro. So let's talk about the plot a little bit and then I'm going to tell you why I think this film it, it's so awesome and nobody talks about him. I don't know why but basically um, the uh, Miss, uh, as you say, Madame Perlod, you know, she's a vampire and she she kind of lives in this modern day uh, Pittsburgh uh, but she's not like your regular run-of-the-mill vampire because she actually has some kind of morality uh, she lives she she feeds on the living of course to survive but she only attacks the criminals or the undesirables so to speak so she doesn't want to attack really innocent blood she wants just People who kind of deserve to die, you know, deserve to die. So, um, the, uh, you know, she, one day she runs into into this character, uh, Salvatore the Shark uh, Macelli, played by Robert Loggi, and he's a scum of the earth mobster, and she wants to finish him off, and kill him, and get a feed, right? But she gets interrupted, and she sucks his blood, but, but he, uh, she can't finish him off. So it's like if you know vampire lore, you know that when you bite somebody in the neck, uh, you need to, um, if you don't kill him before he turns into a vampire, it'll be too late, and he's a vampire, and it's going to be much harder to kill. So she usually just, you know, feeds and then just snaps the neck out of out of the bad guy so to speak and but she can't do this so the mobster comes back as a vampire and not a happy one uh, much more evil than before and this vampire has the idea of turning all his whole gang into vampires and actually becoming the mobster mafia and uh, this is sort of like uh, some people may not say that this is a, a horror film. Some people may say that this is more of a dark comedy, but it's debatable. But I still think this is a horror film, and and mainly because the visuals are so creepy, man. There's, these are very well done vampires done by the awesome John Landis. We all remember Werewolves in London, uh, you know, American Werewolves in London, and um, and the Michael Jackson thriller video in, in John Landis is just superb doing this um, directing this type of movie and uh, actually he's a superb director in any movie he's an awesome director and um, we also get you know a love story her uh, with um, with Madame Parilleud there playing Marie I'm sorry her her character name is Marie and um, basically, she kind of starts to show him what you know the vampire life is about, and uh, with the help of the undercover cop, 
they both kind of unite to try to stop the mobster and from doing her the vampire work uh, one of the there's so many things that I like about the film I love the acting the, um, there's people there's a lot of cast members here that actually would have become the uh, cast members of the Sopranos uh, awesome they, they play mobsters so good and um, you know the main character um, Mr. Loglia he is uh, really, really, really good. Uh, Logia, and and uh, he, you know, he is so sarcastic and so, you know, so creepy as the main vampire there. And we, uh, Don Rickles, plays a mobster lawyer who ha brings the dark comedy pretty well. And small spoiler, you know, if he turns into a vampire. Which is monster lawyer vampire uh, semantic semantic semantics maybe the same thing, <laughs> but anyhow, there's a really fantastic special effects. That's one of the great thing that I wanted to say. The acting is awesome. Uh, the main actress is so sexy, so beautiful. The um, the 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 city looks great. Um, the the dark humor works awesomely but I love these special effects um, I think I want to do some videos when I talk about the fact that vampires now with the Twilight movies and that type of stuff they're kind of losing their edge you know they're kind of trying to become this handsome or beautiful people and blah 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 you know no man vampires are monsters man they should be creepy and, and this movie illustrates that very well and uh, you know one of the most most awesome things is that um, it, it's the special effects and there's a really great scene when uh, Don Rickles uh, turns into a vampire that is so funny and creepy I recommend just to watch the film on that alone it's it's uh, it's done the right way everything about it I love I really don't understand why the critics never did like it, but it's a film that you just want to watch again and again. And I definitely recommend that you take a you take a stab at it, take a stake through the heart with it, take a little bite, and you'll come back for seconds. Just wanted to talk to you about that film. Make sure to check it out if you like my video. Give me a like, please. If you don't like it, tell me why. Um, but I definitely think that this is a great film. Kind of forgotten. Back back in 1992 was released. It's time to unearth it and enjoy it once more for what it was. It was a great little film. Have a good night. Sweet dreams.